941, welcome back. I am so glad there's a fire station next door. We are just a <laughs> few days away from Easter. Today we're kicking off the celebration with Katie's Science Lab. Katie Blake and her <laughs> assistant, David Sears, are here to show us how <laughs> Peep's marshmallow candy will react to different liquids and heat sources. And microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> this is more for people who don't like Peep's because we're doing some strange things to peeps today. We're gonna to start off with the heat source. Uh, we put some in a microwave safe dish, put them in the microwave. It only takes, what, like 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Um, nice I went casserole, and got it. Sears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I went and got it and, and they were like all puffed up, to, like they were coming over the top of the dish. So I turned off the microwave because I didn't want to have to clean it up later. <laughs> Good <laughs> idea. So they've, uh, they've deflated a little bit. Yeah, there. That is quite a... Are they still hot? Fragrant. Yes, we did one by itself, um, and Aww. here's the result. Our little peep guy. Feel kind of bad. Yeah. It's hard as a rock. <laughs> All this sugar. It's hard as a rock. So. How long do you nuke it? Ooh, the one by itself. It was only. It took seconds. Ten seconds yeah. or I, less. I just kept nuking this to see what happened. But so it was Sears was in there like twelve minutes. <laughs> You've got to try it for yourself. The kiddos will think it is hilarious to see how our sugary peeps react to heat. They expand. Oh, oh man. <laughs> um, yeah. Ew. Okay, well, don't eat it. Are you going to eat it? I don't know. Let's see what a microwave peep tastes like. I didn't. I just stuck. It is nice. <laughs> I, here's a paper towel. Here's a paper towel. Just tastes like Ooh. warmed up sugar, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds good. Well, he does that. Okay. So, okay, we've already gone off the rails here, but I wanted to show you that because it kind of, as time goes on, they deflate. So here's what you need if you want to experiment with Peeps. Of course, you'll need plenty of Peeps candy, bunnies, chicks. It doesn't matter. You'll need some containers with lids. Mason jars uh, will do the trick here. And you'll need a few liquids. Uh, water, rubbing alcohol, club soda, vinegar. And then if you want to do the, the heat experiment, you'll need a microwave safe dish to put the peeps in. So we've seen how they react to heat. Mm -hmm. They try to change phase a little bit, going from s solid to kind of liquidy. There's some melted sugar on the bottom. So there's the phase change with the heat. Let's talk about the liquid here. David, are you going to be able to do this? I'm going to help you out. <laughs> this is so, kind of like cotton candy that's like really sugary and kind of harder than like the soft cotton candy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm glad you Is like it. Is this the only paper towel you brought? Yes. Okay. Okay, what are we going to put? You caught me off there? guard. So we're going to try the club soda. Okay. So put, pour some club soda. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to go find some more paper towels. <laughs> and then we're going to put our peeps in our different liquids. Blame it on the peeps. I guess so. Okay, go ahead. want to do that. So ask the kiddos, you know, what do you think is going to happen when you when you put the peep in the club soda? We've got regular water, et cetera. So let's put this guy in here. Oh, it's already starting to, you see on the bubbles? It's already, What's happening? It's already starting to, like, dissolve. So I did this a couple days ago on Monday night. I put, thank you, <laughs> I put blue peeps in the different liquids and let them sit. So... There goes our club soda. So this is what happened after being in club soda for about a day and a half. There's nothing left except you can see the oh, little wow. the little eyes are floating around. There's a oh, little so bit weird. left. The the eye is there. So that was club soda. Okay. Um, regular water. Yeah. You can see there's still kind of a shape left here. So the regular water it stripped the blue sugar from it, okay. uh, but its eyes have also fallen off and are floating around. But there's still a little bit more left with the regular water. We did vinegar. Mm -hmm. Also, not anything here either. Just the little brown specks, those, the those floating the eyes. eyes yes, wow. and then okay. rubbing alcohol. Okay. So rubbing alcohol didn't fully dissolve it either. It kind of started to break it down. But it, th this is interesting to watch this happen. And you, yeah, you could even start to see it's starting to. Yeah, the club soda has already taken off the blue color there on this guy. So it's just fun. Like I said, it may be more fun if you don't like peeps and you've got a lot in your house and you need to get rid of them. Kind of a cool way to teach kiddos about uh, what heat can do to objects to change their phases and about the solubility of peeps or their ability to dissolve in different liquids. That's awesome. We and, have a lot of peeps at home. And now you have enough paper towels to last a year. Yes, thank you. We made a mess.
That's okay. <laughs> uh, all this on ksat.com. Yes, and if you guys try this at home, be sure to take pictures, video, and you can actually send it to us on ksat.com, and you may see it uh, later next week on a future episode of GMSA at 9. We want to see what you're doing at home. Very Fantastic. cool. This is a bad David, aftertaste. Katie, thank you guys. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you.